coming down the river. All right, so I'm uh, I'm tattooing my daddy today. Hi, my name's uh, Barry Sinkhorn. Uh, I'm Chad's dad. I'm a ex-Marine. I uh, served in the United States Marine Corps from 1973 to 1977. I'm a Vietnam veteran. I was a platoon sergeant, stationed mainly at Camp Virginia, North Carolina, and I spent my last year in Oklahoma. It's gonna be a fun, interesting day. He's getting a uh, Marine Corps uh, uh, saber. Uh, down his back with uh, mine and my sister's uh, name and his grandkids incorporated in it. The reason I wanted to uh, join the military right after high school was that uh, I had a chance to go to college, but I really decided I had enough school. So some buddies of mine decided uh, back then the draft was still going on. So we had pretty high numbers on the draft. So we buddied up together and there was five of us that went ahead and decided to join the Marine Corps together on the buddy system. Got a lot of pressure on this one today. Just just knowing, knowing my dad, he's real particular in what he likes and what he wants, which is a good thing. Uh, so. I would have to say if it was any other person coming in with these requests, I would have a hard time with it. But of course, it being my dad, I kind of, I know what direction he's wanting to go. Uh, we're definitely going to be playing some tricks today to, to pull his tactic off the way that he wants it. Or is definitely going to challenge my skills. It's going to be a hard tactic to do. It's going to be a fun one. I was, I was joking around with him earlier. He, uh, he's got one tattoo that he got back in the Marine Corps. USMC uh, tattoo, and uh, I told him I was joking around with him every day, saying uh, this is definitely going to be uh, your first real tattoo. So it's going to be fun. <laughs> Biggest experience that I got out from the military was that uh, I ain't gonna lie to you. When I was young, I was a little punk, <laughs> uh, pretty wild. I used to run around and drink quite a bit and raise some cane. Uh, the military actually made me settle down. Uh, I got a lot of leadership experience out of the, uh, the military and the Marine Corps because I went to all their leadership in the NCO schools and me becoming an NCO. And that has helped me more in my life career after the military than anything because I've been a, uh, a supervisor or in the leadership position ever since until I retired. Chad and I have been talking uh, several months about uh, me getting another tattoo, which he has been kind of riding me all, all, all his life. Uh, for him to get one on me, so uh, we decided uh, to go ahead and uh, he brought me a t-shirt home from uh, the beach a couple years ago that, that had a nice portrait on it of a, a Marine Corps uh, saber going through the uh, USMC uh, lettering. So I liked it quite a bit. Uh, he's going to work on it and modify it and I wanted him to fix it to where uh, I could put uh, him and my daughter's name, Brittany, and my four grandkids' names on it. So. He's doing that with a banner across the top, uh, representing the uh, Semper, Fi Semper Fidelis, Always Faithful, which is a Marine Corps motto. Like I said, I've known Chad all his life because I'm his dad, but uh, <laughs> he uh, he has uh, always been very determined in his endeavors and whatever he's wanted to do in his life. Uh, I guess the main thing that I'm expecting from this tattoo is his best work, because I am his dad. Uh, but I just hope he don't get uh, no revenge on me and make me go into any great deal of pain while he's in the process of doing it. As far as pain-wise, it's, it's, it's going to be a big tattoo for his back, so he's going to feel enough pain without me having to try to hurt him. <laughs> I wouldn't do that by no means. I, it, the easier the tattoo goes for him, the easier my day goes, and that's with anybody I'm tattooing. I would never, you know, uh, it would be silly for me to try to put more pain than, than needed. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, uh, I never, uh, I've been tattooing now for going on 18 years, so it's the first time I've, I've tattooed my dad, so it's, it's a long time coming.
My name is William Winburn. I live in Stanford, Kentucky. I was just drawn to the military. I mean, my life was back then when I was 17 years old, heading in the wrong, wrong direction. So I thought the only way I could go is to the military to drag me out the right way. And 20 years later, I ended up getting injured and retiring from the military. Uh, back in July of 05, me and a convoy was coming out of Baghdad and we was hit by a roadside bomb. Unfortunately, it killed my driver and me and my gunner. We made it out, but we was flown back to Walter Reed. We was both pretty messed up. Ryan J. Montgomery was my driver and He'll always be in my thoughts and prayers, him and his family. I went from being a military personnel to a civilian. I mean, it's been quite a change. It's been over 10 years, and I still haven't got adjusted to it yet. The patches are just a symbol of the brothers and sisters I've lost overseas. I can't get names because I don't have enough body. So anytime I get the extra money, I come see Todd and get a unit patch put on. And once I get my arms covered, I'm gonna start with the American flag and wrap down on each arm. That's gonna be my way of paying tribute to all the brothers and sisters we've lost throughout the years in the wars and stuff. So my uh, buddy and neighbor, Mr. William Wimburn, is coming in today to get an Apache helicopter. Should be pretty cool, man. He's got a lot of cool military themed tattoos. And uh, he's actually a retired military. And I'm sure he's seen a lot that I don't want to see. The Apache helicopter, the reason why I'm wanting to give tribute to that is we was in a firefight one time and you know if it wasn't for them coming in and pretty much saving our butts by coming in and helping us out, we was running low on ammo and everything and they come in and just lit the place up and pretty much killed the enemy and got us out of there. I've known Todd for a while. He lives right behind me in my neighborhood. He's a good guy. I just like his work. Nothing up against the other artists, but I like Todd's work. And he's always done all my tattoos and I'm gonna keep on using Todd. Man, I have mad respect for any man or woman that serves in our military, uh, regardless of, call it, you know, Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force. They're just, it takes a special breed of person, a man, to commit their life to protecting others. I just, man, thanks. That's all I can, that's all I can say. All I can do is give you good tattoos to help you honor, you know, the people that you serve with. My name is Amanda. Um, I am from Lexington, Kentucky. Me, Shane Strout. Uh, today I'm working on Amanda. We're doing a Eagle Globe and Anchor tattoo. Uh, tried to kind of do something a little different with it, kind of make it my own. Um, the tattoo that I'm getting today is the Marine logo. Um, since both of my parents were Marines, they've my mom got out when my sister was born. Uh, my dad has been in since he was 18, so now he's. 44 so it's been a very long time so pretty much this just kind of represents you know my support towards them um, showing that you know I really do care about them and they're always with me anywhere I go. I'm 
Amber Goins. I'm getting ready to tattoo on my buddy Donnie here. We're doing a screaming eagle and a skull with a beret. It signifies his service in the 101st, and I'm pretty honored to be doing it for him, and can't wait to see how it turns out. My name is Brian Hughes. I'm originally from Somerset, Kentucky, but live here in Junction City now. Uh, today I'm going to get a skull with 0311 in it, which is what I was in the Marine Corps. It's uh, basic infantry. I've always wanted to do something for my country. I've always wanted to protect, and it's just always been a, a family thing. Everybody's always joined, so I did my deed. I was in for right at three years and then got out for knee injuries. The, the knee injury just kind of came from training exercises, constantly jumping out of helicopters. Favorite part about being in a helo unit is pretty much the adrenaline rush of, of just sliding down the rope, spy rigging, running out in the woods and, and training. Hey, adrenaline, it's just awesome, I miss it. <laughs> I really didn't mean to do that. Yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> Good thing Dace and them ain't here. I've never heard any of this. Here we go. You alright? I'm good. Just playing with you. No, you're not. Come on. No, not really. See? <laughs> it's tender down there, boy. Shit. <laughs> yeah, you get the kick out of this, ain't you? You'd love another damn second of it, huh? <laughs> Now, to be honest with you, he's a pretty good kid. I think he only had to bust his butt like, what, once or twice? He only got one belt woman. That's all I needed. <laughs> uh. Don't do it. <laughs> it's, it's not bad. I mean, some spots it hurts, but I'm just gonna power through it. <laughs> I've got a bunch, so it's not my first rodeo. Oh, she's setting grade. Can't ask for any more on a red cage. Okay. Do it. Keeps falling asleep on me, but uh, turned out pretty cool. Uh, it's going great so far. She's one of the one of the better artists I've had working on me. Oh, it's a great choice. I had to get a little stretch real quick. Todd takes it easy on you. Come out, get a little fresh air, stretch real quick. Got the outline done now. Do do shading and color.
Lincoln commander in Junction City. I served uh, in the Army for six years, active duty, stationed at Fort Campbell, deployed twice as a unit. So I'm currently in the reserve, stationed out of Bardstown. I've always wanted to be in the military. It was kind of one of the childhood things growing up. It took a while to get in, but I finally made it. The most rewarding thing I found in the military is probably the brotherhood that come with it. You know, I've got a lot of friends scattered all over the world now. A lot of people I can count on. Uh, the tattoo I'm getting, it's got the it's got the screaming eagle in it, which is the 101st. You know, it's what they're known as is the screaming eagles. I've got the skull with the beret. It's kind of universal for the army. And then the, the air assault badge, you know, Fort Campbell, the Screaming Eagles are known as the air assault unit. Hey, we just finished up the tattoo. Uh, went nicely, set like a champ like always. Uh, definitely a fun piece to do. Love the style. Uh, see you when you get here to get one. I got finished with the tattoo. It felt amazing. The guns he uses, they're, they're real comfortable. It's quick, pain-free, and just, just amazing. I love it. Very satisfied. He's an awesome artist, always been very well satisfied. He's always taking good care of it and definitely gonna come back. I went ahead and got the the skull with 0311 tattooed on it. Um, I love skulls. Skulls are my thing. Uh, 0311 just being I was basic infantry and just another way to dedicate myself towards the Marine Corps. Show my appreciation for everybody else that is in the military. Not just the Marine Corps but Army, Navy, any of them. My tattoo <laughs> that is like the worst pain I've ever felt <laughs> I would rather be stabbed in the leg <laughs> I don't regret it um, I always say go big or go home um, I'm not done yet I'd, I'll complain that it hurts but I'll end up getting something on my other side but it's not that bad I think Shane did a really good job <laughs> so thank you for putting up with me <laughs> Um, I try not to move as much as I did, but um, I would definitely recommend <laughs> 
getting something done again by him. <laughs> if you are looking to get tattooed, definitely come out here. It's it's a great place. Everybody makes you feel like home. Uh, <laughs> everybody's super nice, and they, everybody does a really good job. So people always ask me, oh, where do you get your tattoos? Though I'm just like Studio Week, but they're like, oh, well, I don't want to drive, you know, 45 minutes away or however long. And I'm just like. You know, it's, it's definitely worth it. You know, I, I love everybody here, so. <laughs> December came, but spring was following. I just finished up with Amanda's uh, Eagle Globe and Anchor Tattoo. Uh, she did amazing for a rib tattoo. She uh, sat very well, uh, which is really important for a rib piece because, uh, it's hard to get good clean line work if you're squirming around and everything. Um, you're almost as responsible for a good outcome of a tattoo as the artist it themselves. Uh, but she did really well. The tattoo turned out awesome. We just uh, finished up my tattoo on my leg. And uh, we sat for three, three and a half hours, maybe. I'm happy with it. I mean, it looks awesome. I definitely recommend that. It's the second one she's done on me, and I can definitely see some more being done in the future. I can hear the bells in the city Across the ancient shore I am ready to fight We just finished up the tattoo. I'm pretty excited about how it turned out. It was pretty awesome. Uh, he sat really good. I thought he was going to pass out on me there at the end a little bit, but uh, it turned out awesome. Got done with my tattoo. Todd did an awesome job as usual. Got the 50 cal down below. Got the rockets on each side. Great detail work. Couldn't ask for a better job. We just finished up William's tattoo, uh, the Apache helicopter. Actually turned out pretty cool, man. I like doing black and gray. I don't get to do a whole lot of it, so come get some black and gray tattoos, people. I do black and gray. Think about my tattoo grandson. Pretty see your, cool. See your name on there? Yep. Did you cry any? No. <laughs> Twitched a lot. Okay, Chad just finished my uh, military tattoo. Uh, done a pretty awesome job. Uh, tickled to death with it. I like it. Uh, he did a great job. I would like to say that I'm tickled to death with the theme that we had uh, Marine Corps. Uh, USMC with the saber through it. We just finished Dad's tattoo. Turned out pretty cool. This was a fun tattoo. Very detailed and tedious. Definitely took a while. And, but he said great. Uh, I was glad to do it. Just looking forward to finishing it back up for the full back piece and start on the sleeves now. <laughs> I guess I did a pretty good job. He's happy with it, so uh, he won't give me a, a, a belt whooping now like he did when I was a little. say thank you to all the former and current 
uh, military personnel. Just thank you for what you do, keeping us safe. I'd like to thank all the military servicemen and women for all the service that they do. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. I just want to thank all the men and women in the military and who have been in the military for serving for our country. It's really brave of you and I have a lot of respect. I'm proud to serve my country. I'm proud of my tattoo. I'm proud of what it represents, the times I spent in the military and serving my country. And I have my names of my kids and my grandkids on it, so I'm proud of that. And I'm proud of my son for doing my tattoo. So, done well, son. Appreciate it.